Allen from the Whittier Public Library and we are here for preschool story time. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a song um, to welcome everyone to story time. So we sing this one last week it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It and it's called Story Time is Starting. Clap your hands. So get your hands ready for first first. Here we go. Story time is starting. Clap your hands. Story time is starting, clap your hands. Story time's begun, I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting, clap your hands. Good clapping, how about your feet? What are we gonna do with them? We're going to stomp them. Story time is starting, stomp your feet. Story time is starting, stomp your feet. Story time's begun. I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting. Stomp your feet. Good job. How about let's shout hooray? Are you ready? Story time is starting. Shout hooray. Hooray! Story time is starting. Shout hooray. Hooray! Story time's begun. I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting, shout hooray, hooray! All right, one last one before we start story time. Story time is starting, take a seat all the way down. Story time is starting, take a seat, good job. Story time's begun, I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting, take a seat all the way down. All right, good job everybody. I can tell you are all ready for stories and it's time for us to jump into our first book called Plant the Tiny Seed. Today's story time sir, is all about flowers and things that grow uh, outside. So here we go. This is called Plant This Tiny Seed by Christy Matheson and this is being read with the permission of HarperCollins Publishing. Here we go. There he is. <gasps> There's a magic in this tiny seed. Push, 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 push. Press it down and count to three. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Plant another, then one more. Press them down and count to four. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Now wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle all those fingers. And add some water. There you go. Good job. Like you have a pail of water. Go ahead and put some water on those seeds. Oh, perfect. That's enough. Next, rub your hands together. Rub that sun to make it hotter. Rub, 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 rub your hands. Now, tap the cloud. Wish for rain. Clap to bring the sun again. Wow, it's raining. All right, we gotta clap if we want the sun to come back. We've got some water on our plants and now we need more sun. One, two, three, big clap. Ah, now can you find a worm? Do you see the worm in the soil? Look for its tail. Over there, good job. Right in between the middle and the right flower bud. Good job. Uh-oh, shoo away that hungry snail. Say shoo, shoo. Shoo that snail away. Now tell the little bud, good night. Do you see the little green bud on top of that middle flower? There it's growing. 
guess what you'll see in the morning light? What do you think we might see? Any guesses? Wow! It's a purple flower. Now point. Point to that purple flower. Bzzz. Wow, the bees came. The bees came to greet that flower. Now let's tap the cloud again. What do you think is going to happen when we tap that cloud? What do you think? More rain. It's another rain shower. And I see a purple flower. What other color flower do you see? Yes, good job, a red one. And maybe that looks like an orange one growing. Yes, it's an orange flower. Now touch the blossoms very gently, please. Point to those different color flowers. Ooh, those flowers are beautiful and even the hummingbirds came to see them. Now jiggle your hands, jiggle your hands around to scatter the seeds. There they go. The seeds are flying off of the flowers. Now the purple flower needs a clip. Swipe across the stem. Snip, snip, snip. Now close your eyes. Wave your hands high in the air. Oh look, there's magic everywhere. More flowers, bees, birds, butterflies. So beautiful. And that is the end of our story. Aren't they beautiful flowers? Let's say goodbye flowers. E and well done. All right, good job. You did a great job helping us with those plants. Weren't they beautiful? Those were beautiful plants. Okay, everybody. Do you think you can help me out in my garden? Let's see if you can help me count. I have some flowers. This first one is what color? Can you tell me what color is this one? Pink. Good job. One. Pink flower, two with an orange flower. How about this one? What color is this one? Green, good job. A green flower, that makes three. How about this one? What color is this one? Red, good job. That's four flowers. And if I have one more, here we go. A blue flower. Yes, that makes five. So out in the garden, growing in the sun, were five pretty flowers. And Miss Robin picked one. Boop. How many are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, Four flowers. There's four flowers left. Now out in the garden, growing in the sun, were four pretty flowers. And Miss Robin picked one. Boop. Now there are how many left? One, two, three flowers are left. Good job. Out in the garden, growing in the sun. Make sure you say it with me. There were three pretty flowers and Miss Robin picked one. Now there are only two flowers left. Oh no, only two flowers left. What colors are they? Good job, green and blue, you are right. Out in the garden, growing in the sun, were two pretty flowers. And Miss Robin picked one. Boop. Now there's only one. Show me one finger. There's only one left. Out in the garden, growing in the sun, 
was one pretty flower. And you picked one. And how many are left? You're right, zero. There are no flowers left, but don't worry. They will grow back. They will come back. All right, everybody. Now, can you sing a song with me? It's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. But it goes like this. We're going to sing it two times together. It goes like this. I'm a little daisy, tall and slim. Here are my petals, and here is my stem. You should be standing up for this one. Good job. When the sun comes up, and the rain falls down. I grow, grow, grow up from the ground. Way up high. All right, let's try it one more time. Here we go. I'm a little daisy, tall and slim. Here are my petals and here is my stem. Good job. When the sun comes up, and the rain falls down. I grow, grow, grow up from the ground. Nice and tall. Show me your tall flowers, everybody. Stand up nice and tall. Like a big tall flower. Ooh, you guys are so beautiful. Good job. All right, everybody, have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat for our next story. It is called Fran's Flower. This is written by Lisa Bruce, illustrated by Rosalind Birdshaw. And this is being read with the permission of Harper Collins. And let's jump in. Fran's flower. What do we see? Let's see. I see Fran, and I see her, her buddy. Who's her buddy? That's right, her dog. So one day, Fran flat. Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny little green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. Oh, that's his name. Dog's name is Fred. She took it home. Grow, flower, she said. But, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge. In inside, she found some of her favorite food. What do you see in the fridge? I see milk. I see eggs. Does anybody else see tomatoes? Yep, and I see, ooh, what's that that she's grabbing? She's grabbing something. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. What do you think? You think the flower liked the pizza? Mm, I don't know. The next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Mmm. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. What do you think? You think the plant liked all that food? I don't think so. She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. Uh-oh, Fred doesn't look too happy about that. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny. Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. Oh, that's not nice. Well, the flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. And guess what? It started to rain. And rain fell on the plant. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. <gasps> you see anything different with the plant? Keep watching. Finally, the tiny green tip grew 
and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. What do you think it is? Yes, it was a big, beautiful flower just for Fran and Fred. What do you think? That's a beautiful flower. It's a big, huge flower. And she just needed to be patient and wait for the flower to grow. It needed some, a couple of things, rain, sun, some fresh air, and it grew. And that is the end of Fran's flower. All right, there we go. Now, do you think you can help me with a little more counting? Can you show me one little, two little, three little flowers? Good job. Let's sing this song. We're going to count on our fingers like this. One little, two little, three little flowers. Four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight little, nine little flowers. Ten flowers in the spring. Good job. What do the flowers need to grow? Remember, some sun and some rain. Good job. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they'll grow up nice and tall. Good job, everybody, the beautiful flowers. All right, so story time is almost coming to an end, but before we go, we must sing our final song using our song cue. What will we sing today? Let's find out. Boop. It's time to eat. I like to eat, but first, before we start this song, we're going to need to learn a couple of different signs. So first, I like to eat. Can you do that with me? I like to eat. Good job. How about let's start with apples. Can you take your pointer finger and bend it in half and touch it to your cheek? Just like this, apples. That's the ASL sign for apples. So if you like to eat apples, you want to sing this first. How about grapes? Let's try grapes. We need to put one hand out like this and one hand bouncing, bouncing, bouncing over our hand like this. Grapes. Mm, Miss Robin likes grapes. How about crackers? Who likes crackers? Raise your hand if you like crackers. Miss Robin likes crackers, especially with cheese, right? All right, so if you like crackers, we're going to put one fist up like this and knock, 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 knock on our elbow for crackers. And finally, to wash it all down, what do we need? Some milk. Can you do this with your hand? Take all your fingers and squeeze a glass of milk like that. All right, so we're going to drink our milk. Are you ready? Here we go. I like to eat eat, eat, lots of yummy apples. I like to eat, 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 lots of yummy apples. Good job. What else do you like to eat? Do you remember? How do we do grapes? Show me grapes. I like to eat, 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 lots of yummy grapes. I like to eat, 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 lots of yummy grapes. Mmm, and how about some crackers, just by themselves. I like to eat, 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 lots of yummy crackers. I like to eat, 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 lots of yummy crackers. Good job, all right, last one, wash everything down with some milk. If you don't drink 
milk, maybe you can drink some. We'll just drink some water, okay? All right, here we go, last one. I like to drink, drink, drink lots of yummy milk. I like to drink, drink, drink lots of yummy milk. Mmm, now I'm nice and full. And it's time for us to say goodbye. See you next week for preschool story time. And don't forget, we have lots of other story times going on. So check out our website, check our Facebook or our Instagram, uh, and join us again. Bye, guys. See you next time.